Hi everyone, today Phone Arena is taking a look at the Alcitel One Touch Fierce, which is currently available from T-Mobile. The uh, full price of the device is $164. Or if you choose their uh, simple choice plan, it's uh, $20 down and $6 per month over two years. Uh, the Alcitel One Touch Fierce, it's uh, pretty much a uh, introductory low-end uh, smartphone because of the price 164 it's not going to have you know high-end features that you're going to see like on a Galaxy S4 or something like that but it still manages to have a uh, pretty decent features here for the uh, average consumer uh, across the uh, front of the display here it's a uh, 4.5 inches uh, underneath that you have your capacitive buttons for back home and recent apps up on top is a standard VGA camera that's a 0 0.3 megapixel VGA camera which you can use for uh, self pictures or video chatting up on top is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack with power lock key around on the right side is the volume rocker even though it's a little bit of a different color it's a uh, pretty recessed into the surrounding plastic so you can't really distinguish it just by touch alone Around on the back is the 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. Removing the cover, have your SIM card slot and micro SD card slot. The uh, battery, it's a uh, 1800 milliamp battery. Unfortunately, uh, the battery is not removable, which means you can't uh, get another standard battery or an extended battery for the device so you're pretty much limited to just the battery that's on there also the uh, speaker down here on the bottom and the uh, micro USB port on the back so it's a uh, pretty uh, compact in size here as you can see next to the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, not quite as big in, uh, in either height or width or uh, depth for that matter. It's also a pretty lightweight as well. Fits uh, comfortably in the hand. Uh, the soft touch coating on the back provides a nice grip. Uh, it's available in two colors, either this uh, sort of metallic-y blue or uh, silver. So let's continue on and take a look at the One Touch Fierce. As with any smartphone, one of the uh, most important aspects of it is the display. Uh, like we mentioned, it's uh, 4.5 inches in size, uh, which is uh, pretty uh, normal these days, uh, not too big, not too small. Our only main uh, disappointment with the display is that it's got a bit of a bluish uh, hue to it. Uh, it may not show up really well here in the video, but seeing the device in person, even though it's LCD, everything has got more of a blue hue tint. Uh, something that we haven't really seen on uh, LCDs or even AMOLED displays uh, recently in several years. So uh, not really sure which uh, uh, LCD technology they're using here, uh, but images are going to have that little bit of a color shift to it. As far as the uh, user interface is concerned, it's running pretty close to stock Android 4.2.2. Uh, which is going to be a jelly bean. So as you can see here, you have basic uh, five home screens or you can add uh, seven home screens like other devices. There's also no uh, extra themes or uh, extra customization like you might see on an HTC or Samsung or a LG device. It's pretty much a stock Android on here. Uh, also has a couple extra applications will kind of run down here got a uh, FM radio which you can use but of course for that you got to plug in a pair of uh, headsets you have your uh, lookout uh, mobile security which is pretty much like an antivirus for your uh, cell phone here uh, T-Mobile includes their my account T-Mobile name ID and T-Mobile TV which comes with a 30-day uh, free trial. We'll launch this app here and uh, see what's currently playing. Go into our live channels. Have uh, not a huge selection. You got Fox News, Associated Press, uh, Bloomberg, ESPN, ABC Movil. Go into uh, Fox News I guess here. Well, okay. 
and uh, take a look at this. Switch over to landscape mode. Quality isn't that great on the live streaming. It's a little bit stuttering, but still not that bad if you uh, want to look for some uh, live video on there. Uh, pretty much everything else is going to be stock Android. That includes uh, your email applications, uh, calendar, uh, everything else is pretty much stock on there. Uh, the only, like we said, the only extra things that are included are some of those extra T-Mobile applications. For processing performance, the Alsatel One Touch Fierce comes with a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core MediaTek processor with one gigabyte of RAM. Now, even though it's a quad-core processor, it really doesn't feel like one. Um, as you can see by our N22 benchmark results, we got uh, 13,774. Now, in comparison, the uh, Motorola Moto X is uh, about 18,000. Uh, the HTC One is 23,000, and Samsung Galaxy S4 is 24,000. So even though it's quad core, it's really performing closer to maybe like a dual core processor from a couple years ago. Uh, Quandrit uh, benchmarking score was also pretty low at uh, 4,890, which is about half that of the uh, Motorola X and about four times less than the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, still in all, uh, for the price, it's uh, not that bad. Um, can feel a bit sluggish at times though, especially when running uh, multiple applications, uh, going between the home screens, doing any type of multitasking. Uh, would have preferred a little bit better uh, processor on here, maybe a uh, Qualcomm, uh, but the uh, MediaTek, we're sure, was uh, chosen uh, for the lower cost, help keep costs down on the device. So as long as you're running just basic applications, shouldn't be that big of an issue. For your web browsing experience, the Google Chrome browser comes standard. It's uh, pretty simple to use here. Obviously, uh, Google Chrome is pretty much the uh, standard these days. Of course, you can always install another browser if you want. It's uh, not terribly uh, quick as far as the uh, scrolling and the pinch to zoom. You can see it does kind of uh, stutter there a little bit, uh, most likely due to the uh, processor that's used. But still, it's uh, passable. For your internet connection and data, it can make use of UMTS, HSDPA+, and AWS uh, bands at 850, 1900, and 2100 megahertz. Uh, right now we're connected um, with T-Mobile's 4G and uh, pretty much getting uh, download speeds anywhere between 8 to 12 megabits per second, uh, pretty much depending on the uh, time of day. Sometimes at night, it may peak up to uh, 15 megabits per second downloads. Uh, for uploads, usually getting only anywhere between two and four megabits per second. So not terribly fast, but then eight to 15 megabits per second download really isn't that bad if all you're using uh, data for is basically web and email usage. The camera interface is pretty simple and easy to use. You have some icons over here on the left for uh, different modes, such as uh, standard shooting, HDR, uh, phase, panorama. Going into the actual settings here, different things for exposure, color effects, scene modes, white balance, ISO, image size. Uh, gives you some nice adjustments. As far as the actual camera is concerned, it's a standard uh, five megapixel uh, fixed focus camera means it lacks autofocus, so your subject's gonna have to be a good five, six feet away from you uh, for them to be in focus. But even at that, images taken outside, even on a sunny day, uh, kinda look dull and lifeless and dreary. Uh, color reproduction is also not really that great. Uh, so we're really not that impressed here as far as the camera. Indoor images, um, even with bright light, it's uh, still gonna be kind of a uh, blurry, fuzzy looking, and as far as the LED flash, it's uh, really not that bright enough to illuminate um, a room. As far as uh, recording videos, it's uh, pretty much limited to a 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. So video recording quality, it's uh, again not that great, and the images are still going to be kind of uh, dull and uh, lifeless looking. 
Despite not having the uh, fastest processor in the world, the best camera, or even display for that matter, uh, one thing a company should always try to make sure is good is the uh, call quality. Unfortunately here with the uh, One Touch Fierce, uh, we're again uh, pretty much disappointed. Uh, calls on our end were kind of distant and muted sounding, and we also got a bit of a rattling vibration sound in the earpiece speaker. Uh, when turning the volume down to low, it's uh, not as bad, but anything from mid to high volume, you're going to have a constant rattling vibration uh, in the earpiece speaker. It almost sounds like there's something loose in there. Uh, people that we called said that our voices on their end also sound a little bit muted and choppy and they could pretty much easily tell we were using a cell phone. So a bit uh, disappointed here again with the uh, call quality. As far as the internal 1800 milliamp battery, it's going to provide us about six and a half hours of continuous talk time or about one day of mixed usage on a full charge. Uh, like we said, since the battery is non-removable, you can't uh, pop in another standard battery or an extended battery for the device. So pretty much going to have to uh, keep the device charged up every night. So even though the Alsatel One Touch Fierce has an attractive price point of $164 with T-Mobile, there's uh, basically some things that we just can't really uh, get past here. Like we said, even though the display is a nice size, it's got that constant uh, bluish hue to it. Uh, viewing angles really aren't that great either. It's a bit of a letdown there. The uh, quad-core processor does mediocre at best. It's really not going to uh, blaze or compare to uh, higher-end phones. But, of course, for the price, you can't really expect that much. The 5-megapixel uh, uh, camera uh, should at least have had autofocus with it. Um, I mean, this is 2013, of course, not 2006. And um, the call quality, though, that's the real... Uh, let down here. Uh, voices on both ends are a bit muted and that constant rattling vibration in the earpiece speaker uh, does really get annoying after a period of time. So overall it's uh, not that bad for the price. Um, it would be better if it was a lower price um, like maybe $50 or $99. $164 isn't really that bad. Um, that's still in though. Uh, should have got a little bit more, uh, still expecting a little bit more from the device. Uh, so if you want to check out some more information and read our review about the Alsatel One Touch Fierce, available from T-Mobile, check out our website at phonearena.com.